<laughs> Hi and welcome to today's athlete feature. Today we have a very special guest, so we'll get straight into it. Who are you and what is your sport? My name is Alexia Hamilton and my sport is AFLW. And how long have you been playing for? I started playing football as a sport when I was 16, 17. Always grew up doing other sports such as basketball and judo. And then finally, my family were going down the football pathway and I had to make a kind of decision whether I was going to stick with judo and I really wanted to pursue football. So ever since 16, 17, and I'm now 22. So is that five years? Yeah. Five, six years? Awesome. awesome. Now, this might be a little bit, I <clears> assume <throat> I already know the outcome of this one considering AFLW is you have to work outside of sport as well. Um, but have you had something outside of sport to work towards whilst you've been pursuing your AFLW career? Yeah, so from, I guess, like college and stuff, and I was really driven and motivated to kind of focus on a career outside of sport, knowing the the potential for like athlete window in terms of how long you can be an athlete for. I was really driven to make sure I had something else to fall back onto. So, as soon as I finished my college studies, I applied for a Bachelor of Nursing and Bachelor of Paramedicine, which would hopefully at the start of it in four years time, make me a qualified nurse and paramedic, which I just completed in March, 2023. So I'm officially a qualified registered nurse and registered paramedic, which I'm now currently working as a registered nurse alongside my football career. Um, but yeah, it's been exciting. Um, I would love to know, I feel like a lot of athletes sometimes start study and they maybe start it just as a backup because they don't really know what to do. But what made you want to pursue or know that you wanted to pursue a career in nursing and paramedics and specifically the double degree as well? Yeah, so I actually started my, I guess, degree before I was even drafted. So I was automatically drawn to just helping people, um, and kind of being there when they needed somebody the most. So my first, I really wanted to do paramedicine. I loved helping people when they were in acute stage. So they really needed somebody just that adrenaline rush and, you know, being able to be there for somebody when they really need help was something that I was so drawn to. It seems really cheesy and really, I guess, like, what else would you do it for? But just being able to help someone at all stages of their life and you just, you meet so many different kinds of people I think really drew me to it. And then as for nursing, just the culture and the people that are in that environment is something that I really resonate with. And I think as well, just, um, yeah, being able to help people in so many different ways. And it's like, you can help people by treating them and you can um, address their medical conditions, but you're also helping them as a person and grow. And if those um, medical conditions weren't treated, you know, you wouldn't have enabled them to go on their hikes and on their holidays. So you're really just helping them generally as a person as well. 100%. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, final question. What advice would you give your younger self or someone who finds themselves to, in similar shoes to you now? I think um, in my circumstance, so I was unfortunately overlooked in my first draft year. Um, and then, you know, I stayed home and um, really focused on the little things. And then the following year I was finally picked up. Um, and if I look back, you know, I would just, even now I just try and remember that like everything happens for a reason and just keep on nudging on and keep the grind going because, you know, if it's meant to be, and I, I look back on that opportunity that I unfortunately missed and I didn't get picked up and I say, you know, thank, you know, I thank that circumstance because it wouldn't have made me the person that I am today and I'm so much more resilient and I have so much more gratitude for now the opportunities that I'm presented with so I would just try and be like more optimistic in obviously when I didn't get picked up I was obviously devastated but now like I look back and I'm I'm so like grateful for that experience because I'm just such a better person and just a better human for it 100 percent. there's a lesson in everything yeah, absolutely. Just to have like, you know, have faith and be really optimistic and look at the positives from every, from every opportunity to every circumstance to every life event. So yeah, just to be really optimistic. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today, Alexia. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for having me.